All right, guys. I'm coming with another review today on S. Johnson kicks and reviews. It's the Air Jordan Five. Let's go down here and read it. It's a personal size, but I'm not keeping it. Air Jordan Five Retro. Colorway is cell orange black. And size 13. Women's 14 and a half. So that's the first time I seen that uh, on the Jordan Five. I'm pretty sure it happened before. But they show the women's and the men's size. So I'm guessing they made it for both. Retail is $190. And as you can see, pretty much a regular Air Jordan 5 box. The red jump man. Real clean. Let's open it up. See what's inside. Over here, you got a quality control sticker. Gold. Over here. You got a production date and a lot number, I believe. And over here, you see another quality control sticker with uh, speckle paint or uh, wrapping paper. Now, let's get to these different type of beauties right here. The Air Jordan 5 Orange Blaze. As you can see, I pulled them out of the box. It's a different type of material on these shoes. This is like a mesh type with some good leather. Looks nice. I give you a side view of them. You can see the material is slightly different. That's what people are not liking. It's like a mesh right there and right here in the middle. Kind of looks like it should be see-through, but it's not. That's a different material people are not liking. With some good leather down here, it seems like. Pretty nice. Shoe strings are like a cell colorway, too. And if you pay attention, if you go real close, you can see the orange in the mesh. So I guess it's some pattern. And on the bottom, you can see this colorway. This is what get me. That orange is beautiful. I love that orange with the orange icy soles right there. I love it. That's the part that gets me. And it also came with some paper right here by the tongue. I'm guessing they wanted you to protect the tongue and not get scratched up for the reflective. And also in the shoelace holder, you got the orange jump man with a black shoelace cover uh, holder right here also same thing I'm not gonna take these off because these are not my personal pair just my personal size they already sold also you can see inside it's the orange insole with a black jump man with a per, uh, shoe size right there as you can see, the inside liner is black, which is a good thing for you not to get it dirty. You know, because the outside you're gonna have a hard time with keeping it clean because of the color. And you got black jump man on the back. You already see that orange is really popping, which I like about it. It's a nice shoe here. It's different. Another thing I didn't see in other reviews, it's got this like sparkly paper with an upside down Air Jordan. Y'all can see. Looks nice. Nice little hidden gem on the shoe. It's a little squeaky. It seems like you're going to have some problems with that squeaking when you're walking, but I believe that's because of this protective thing right here. Boy, she take it off. It should be good see the mid sole or the outer sole sorry um, it's an orange milky colorway with a red jump man behind it or may even be orange I'm not sure a little spread you can see the bottom of it it's a different so I haven't seen this colorway on the uh, outer sole the icy bottom but it's different the first time I seen the colorway, you tell me below in the comments, have you seen that icy color? 
like a milky, but it's got a little orange in it. As you can see, the shark teeth, silver with some black speckle. It looks nice, man. Tell me below what y'all give these shoes, man. What's the rating? So I flipped these bad boys over so you can really truly see the color with the light shining on it. You see you got the black Jordan right here. Then you got that orange. And yeah, it looks like the jump man are red. You can see the true color right here. It's like a peachy, orangey color. Check it out. You have to buy some uh, sole protectors with these, man. To keep these shoes nice and icy and orange. Make sure you buy them. Okay, guys. So that was my review of the shoes. I'm going to work on some B-roll so you can see the shoes in different positions. Thank you guys for tuning in to S. Johnson Kicks and Reviews. I'm going to get these a rating of probably about a 6 because of the material, but I like it. It's different, but it's going to get a lower review uh, score because I think it may be flying over a couple people's heads. But it's a nice overall shoe. The quality is pretty much clean. No, Not too many glue stains. I didn't see no glue stains on the shoe. So overall, a good quality shoe. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a six. You guys tell me what y'all give it below. And it's S. Johnson Kicks and Reviews, and we're out.